we're gonna show you the basics about building right now. So, gonna build a wall. To build a wall, just press ZR, that's this key right here. Now what you wanna do is build all the way around you. I'm doing this in slow motion so you guys can see. Then what you guys want to do is jump and just make a stair. You're making a stair pressing this, which is your LZ. And just go on top a little bit. You guys could jump again. And this time you're gonna press just your R and that's to make this flat surface. So R would make this flat surface. We can just go all the way around. Well, there are my teammate. <laughs> it's kind of screwing up my build, but that's okay. I'm gonna do this again. We're gonna jump, we're gonna make a stair. We're gonna jump, we're gonna place this. And there we go. So he's kind of doing the 90s for us. <laughs> he's trying to help us out. Doesn't know exactly what we're doing. We're not actually boxing up. Boxing up's kind of good when people are against you. But those are the basics when it comes down to building. Building is really important because that will protect you. Right now we're gonna take the med kit just to show you how that goes. So I'm gonna choose the med kit right now. Choose this and to take it, it's just like firing. So we're just pressing your set R. We're gonna let that go. Shield is one of the most important things. So they drop these for us. We can pick those up. So we're just gonna pick them up using Y and we're gonna select that and then drink it. With shield, instead of having 100, you guys can have even 200 health. So that means they have to kind of kill you twice. <laughs> so it makes a huge difference having shield. Now here's some enemies. See the people that don't see a name on top of their head? Those are people that are not on my team. And when you have a shotgun or a tactical, you want to get up close to them. So this actually works. If you don't get up close to them, then this is not the gun for you. So we are missing an AR, like they're spraying at me. Now something else to remember is that people can hear your footsteps. So it's good to crouch and then move slowly. As long as you guys move slowly, they will not be able to hear you and you can sneak up on people. But if you run or if you walk, they can't hear you. Now some people have visual sound effects which they can actually see on their screen if there's footsteps. They won't be able to see you if you're crouching like so. And we're just gonna switch this weapon up. Oh, he took it. I can take this one though. There we go. So I can just pick that one up. And remember you can toggle between your guns just by pressing these buttons up here. We can choose whatever we like. And remember when you're aiming for somebody, so let's look at someone. Well, there's no one you can see here. But anyways, if I aim, I do always want to press this and then fire away. When you're doing shots from far away with an AR, it's not good to just go on and spray like so. What you want to do usually is just spray one at a time. So let's see that guy right there. You want to hit one shot at a time so you actually hit those shots. If they're far away, most likely you're going to hit more shots if you just hit one bullet at a time. So then it becomes more precise. So again, in every season, we haven't been able to reboot people from our squads. So I'm probably not gonna show you how to reboot people, but you just pick up their cards, you can reboot them. It's always good to stick with them. I suggest always playing squads just because you get to talk to people. They can give you tips on how to play better. And hopefully you don't get that too many toxic people. Because there are some toxic people that are just gonna call you noobs and not really help you out. But that's the type of people you don't wanna play with. Other than that, I do want to show you one more setting that's really important. So I'm just going to build around me. There we go. I'm going to build this a little bit better. There we go. Once this is built, I'm going to show you one more setting that you should have on your switch in order to play really well. So we're going to press right here your plus sign on the top. We're going to go right into your menu, into your settings. Now in our settings, we're going to press A. And we're going to go all the way to controller. Under your controller options, I want you to change this if you don't have it on already. So the first option says controller outer run. You want outer run to be on. It's very, very important for outer run to be on. Because as of now, you may have been walking instead of running and that's not good. <laughs> so you want outer run to be on. Once that's applied, again, we can just press X to apply that. We're going to press A and that's it. There's also another option that you can play around with, which is built immediately. Now this works for some people, it doesn't work for others. So it depends. Just try to put it on and off and see what you're more comfortable with. 
Some of you may be comfortable with putting it on, others off, but just try both and then just save it. So this was Team Rumble. Now we can ready up within the game, which is the fastest way to do, but I wanna show you also squats. So we're gonna go back, go back to lobby. So in our lobby, we all have default skins when we start out, which is fine. You don't need to buy anything. If you go into your locker, you might see nothing unless you buy the battle pass. The battle pass is not necessary to buy unless you want it. And it gives you skins, gives you rewards. It actually also gives you V-Bucks. So technically you could just buy one battle pass and then you could guys have battle passes for the rest of your life in Fortnite. <laughs> so for every single season. And that's because it gives you V-Bucks. So if you guys don't spend those V-Bucks, you can keep them until the next season and use them to buy the next season pass. And you guys can keep doing that for every single season. And with the battle pass, you get a bunch of skins, such as the one that Larry here is wearing. Now I wanna show you the options on the top here. To toggle between those, we can just press these keys up here. So compete, locker, we have item shop where we can buy stuff, we have career, we have V-Bucks where we can buy V-Bucks, and so on. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go all the way to play, that's where we need to go. And then we're gonna press Y, and we're gonna change this up into something else. So in this time, we're gonna go into creative. Don't forget, the best way to learn is usually squats, some people love solos, and then team rumble to get a lot of practice. Other than that, if you want to really get practice at building, mostly building, go into creative. So we're gonna go into creative to show you exactly how that's like. So we're just gonna press A to accept creative. We're gonna start this up. So we're just gonna ready up and we're gonna launch creative. There we go. Obviously, to get better in Fortnite, it's just about practice. The more you know your controllers and everything, the faster you'll be at building and at shooting, aiming, and so on. So it's all about practice. Because right now, if you're just starting out, most likely you might be looking at your fingers and where they're going, what you're pressing. But later on, you're just gonna be pressing fast. And when you see people building fast, it's because they know what they're pressing really fast and that's how they do things including editing. And yes, usually when you see people building and editing extremely fast, usually means keyboard and mouse, just because it's a lot easier, especially because the keyboard. Now to do any type of emotes, what you want to press is your down arrow. So just press your down arrow and then you can select which emote to do. You might only have a couple right now, so I can select this one just by letting go. I can select this one or any emote that I would like at this point. As you're starting up, you will not have a bunch of choices to do emotes. But whenever you see people dancing when they kill you or something like that, they're actually doing this really quick, okay? It's not that it automatically goes, but they're actually doing it. If you want to do a really quick emote, you guys can just press your down arrow really fast. And it's just going to select the first one that you just did. So that's the good thing about this. Or you can select the one that you want just by selecting with this joystick and then choosing whichever you like. So at this point, uh, this is creative. So let me just give you a scroll through this. These are different islands that you can go into. Do not go into any one of those just yet because you can create your own island. However, there's islands that are already made. So we're gonna go into one of the ones that are already made. So we can go into that one, for example. I think he went into that one. Yep, he went into that one, not really sure why. Or we can load up our own. So just go into one of them. We're gonna press Y and we can enter a code. For example, I have recent islands. I can select my second option. And here I have a lot of them. So I have tilted zones, for example. I'm just gonna load that one. It's one of my favorites. And we're just gonna let it load. And here we go, we're traveling to the island. So usually you would wait for people to come into the island before you started up the game. But we can press right here on the top, your plus sign, scroll down, and then you can start the game just by pressing A. Usually you don't wanna do this unless there's already somebody else here with you. What I wanna show you are the basics of buildings. This is where you guys want to practice your building because you get a lot of mats. So to toggle between your wood, your metal, or your brick, which is the best thing that you guys can use, especially when people are firing you, is just by using these arrows right here. So on the side, you guys will see these arrows, just toggle between them. So if I choose brick, I can go ahead and use brick. So if you really don't want people's shots to get through your build, you wanna use brick and you wanna build around you. 
of course, our second option is metal. Metal's really great against shots. So using metal will save your life as well. As when you're using wood, that's really easy to break. It's really delicate, it's not that great, but it's pretty quick to build with wood. And wood's the easiest thing to get when you're playing the real game, such as squads or solos or duos. So that's why most people use that. Again, to place a bouncer or anything like that, if you already have it, press Y, press Y again, and there you go. You guys can just bounce. So let's say somebody's about to knock you from your build and you're gonna fall. Just toggle to your builds, and then what you want to do is spam your Y button looking down. So you're looking down, spam it, and you won't take any fall damage. Of course, I placed two things since I spammed it a little too much, <laughs> but there you go. That's how you guys can save your own lives if somebody knocks you down, if you do a really high build. Other than that, right now we're gonna go back to our lobby so I can show you how to add and accept friend requests. So we're gonna go back, we can just press this right here, we can end the game or leave creative. In this case, we're pressing to leave creative, leave creative. So that's how to leave creative on Nintendo Switch. And these instructions are basically the same thing if you guys move on to a PlayStation or Xbox down the line. The control will obviously be a bit different, but the instructions are the same. Anyways, let's just close this. And I want to show you the basics about accepting friend requests and sending friend requests. So, once again, we're going to press this button, the plus sign. Just press the plus sign. Now we did get somebody else joining our thing right now, but I have some friend requests. I can see those up there. So I can just press this, our L, and then I'm gonna see all of these, and I can toggle between add friends, party up, and boys chat. I'm gonna go back to party, friends. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna see these friend requests. I can just press A. I can accept that. I can press that, accept, that, accept. If you wanna reject any, we can scroll down, reject, or even block people. I'm just gonna accept all of them. And that's how to add friends right here on your Switch. So let's say I would like to friend somebody I just played with. I can go into recent players, and from down here, I can see Frozen YT and all these guys that I don't have. So I can press this A, and I can just add friend. Of course, they have to accept my friend request in order for me to have them as friend in Epic. And remember, if you want to get gifted or if you want to gift somebody something, you do have to be friends for at least two days on Epic. So that's how we can send out friend requests or accept friend requests right here. Now, in order to mute people, let's say in your party that are playing with you, it's pretty easy on Nintendo Switch. We can just press the plus sign and we can just select the friend that we want to mute for now. Maybe their microphone is a little bit off. So we can just press A on them and we're going to see all of this. Just press mute, your first option, and they have been muted. You can unmute anybody just by pressing A and unmute. And there you go. Same deal goes if you would like to view somebody's profile, add a nickname, kick somebody from your lobby, remove friend so you can remove them like so, or even block them. So you do have a bunch of options here once you guys click on a name, or you can even select to send a message, which is whisper. So right now we're just gonna press B for now. I also want to show you voice chat because this is important. Sometimes for some reason it will switch you to game channel and not party channel. So this is how to switch between those two. So only during a game you can switch between game channel and party channel. Right now we can't but all we would have to do is just scroll down and choose game channel in order to go into that one or stay in our party channel. So maybe if your friends are telling you that they're talking, maybe you don't hear them, they don't hear you, you might be in the wrong channel. So just select whichever channel makes sense to you. So right now, for example, we're gonna kick Blueface here from our party just to show you how that's done. Now, we don't always have to go there. If we wanna kick somebody from our party, you can just highlight them like so. We're gonna press A on top of them. We're gonna go into manage and we can just kick them. And that's how you guys can kick anybody from here. You guys can also kick them by going to the side and just selecting them and then choosing to kick down here below. So you could do it those two ways to kick people from your party. Right now what we're gonna do is select something else. So we're gonna go right into duos, pressing A and then X to ready up. Since there's two of us, we don't really have to fill or don't fill. That's also important that you guys may notice on the right hand side. 
on the right hand side it will say don't fail or fail it's important to fail if you're in squats so everybody is in there and uh, don't fail it doesn't really matter if there's only two of you or maybe there's a full squat already you don't have to put in fail so right now I'm just gonna jump out we're gonna glide we have one of our friends that selected where to go however we can also select where to go maybe we like a part of the map that it's really interesting to us. So I'm just gonna deploy right here. There we go, my glider. And just by pressing this minus sign on the left hand side, we're gonna see the map. So I'm gonna press that. And here's the entire map. So I can select anywhere on the map using my joystick right here. And to choose Pleasant Park, I can just press A. So once I put that on top of Pleasant Park, or let's say I wanna choose the middle of the map, I can go right here, press A, and he's gonna see that. So I'm gonna press this, and I'm gonna see my pin right here. That's how you can place pins on your map here in Fortnite. So again, we can just press this. Then with our joystick, we can select anywhere on the map, and we can just press A to select it. We can get out of there just by pressing our minus sign again. So right now I can see my pin all the way over there, and I can see how far away I am. I can always go back to my map and highlight something else. So maybe I want to go Salty Tower. So I can highlight that, press A, and again, I can just get out of it. And there we go, that would be somewhere else. So that's over there. Now something else that it's really, really good. If you're looking maybe at some danger coming, you're gonna tell your teammates that something really bad's happening or you see people around you, you can highlight where they are. So let's say somebody's in that house, I want to highlight that. See this arrow on your left? I can just press that, it can alert people and they can see that. They can see I'm alerting and I can saying, go over there, go over there. So although they might not hear you because you don't have a mic, you can say that because this is alerting them that somebody's there. So although I didn't see somebody there this time, that's how you let them know. To jump, obviously, it's the letter B here. So I can jump. Now to crouch down, just do this. Just press down on this joystick and we can move around. Now he gave me a lot of shield, which is great. To get back up, just press that again and keep going. And the most important thing about Fortnite is just switching and getting materials. <laughs> you need materials. So this tree, let's take this tree. Now don't waste your time digging up walls to, in order to get brick, because that's way too slow. What you guys want to do is get brick from rocks. It's going to be a lot faster. We can toggle between our harvesting tool and our guns just by pressing X. Remember to look for shields. We can select our shield and we can drink it if I didn't have full shield already. But it's good to keep it. So once I get shot, I can just drink that up. Now depending which season you guys get in, you might have cars, you might not. But you guys can also get in some of the cars, not all of them. And they do have gas, so we can go to gas pumps and all that. But that's depending on which season you're starting. So I'm not gonna go over that too much. Again, if you get shot, it's good to circle yourself and then jump and then press this in order to make this there. So this is the most basic build you can do in order to protect yourself if you ever get shot. Now let's say we fired a few rounds, right? Let's fire those rounds. You do wanna recharge your gun. So in order to do that, you have to press Y. So just press Y, recharging our gun so it's full of ammo again and we can fire. It's the, one of the worst things that can happen is that you see someone and you start firing, all of a sudden you need to recharge your gun because he ran out. So what you wanna do is recharge all your guns before you get into a fight, just by pressing Y. So select your gun and then just press Y. Anyways, these are the bare basics about Fortnite. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And if you guys would like to learn a little bit more, a little more intermediate into Fortnite, make sure to watch my other video on the intermediate and advanced levels in Fortnite. This has been the bare basics into Fortnite. This will get you started in killing people. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.